Alright, go into Dummy Nation, where today you've seen me do the doubly landlocked Liechtenstein. Now we're gonna do the doubly landlocked Uzbekistan. Unless you count the Caspian Sea as land access, but, uh, sea access, but in, in Dummy Nation, uh, this only gets you access to the country's bordering it. Black Sea only gets you access to countries bordering that too, so even getting like doubly landlocked but getting out by uh let's just say Iran doesn't help us get to like Syria because the Mediterranean is also technically this counts as a landlocked as being landlocked too hell even this area because of the Egyptian land right here this is landlocked effectively like no control or anything anyway let's keep going let's start with our standard researches And then, um, uh, let's figure out what we have for military. Um, uh, maybe we'll go straight into Afghanistan. Uh, let's lower, yeah, that will help lower our corruption. Let's go straight into Afghanistan, but hit the home button as soon as I see something. And let's fix our budget. Also, let's apply, let's ally with Russia. That seems like a great idea just to add some some defense power. We're gonna have to peace out with Iran here, so alright. They're not off cap, they're not off they're coming off cap. Iran's declaring war. Okay, come back. Go back. Come back. Go back to camp. You don't want them to get the defense bonus. Okay, come back. Get off camp, come back. Just head back to the cab at this point. Because right now no one's getting a defense bonus. You don't want them to retreat. Okay, come back. Go home. All right, this should be good enough. Now we're gonna get a defense bonus. At this point, we can just press the attack. We should just destroy those tanks very quick. Press the home button. Now they're on my turf. Yes, we're going very slow here, but we're trying not to lose our entire stack to like an Afghan army. Plus, we're trying to lower our GDP per capita ASAP before we lose our use our initial liquidity, which means we're in a good spot. Look at those tanks being destroyed. We're just destroying them all now. Okay, it looks like you. It looks like the Afghan army is running. They committed it all. Yeah, they're gonna lose it all here. Hell, even we, we even have some militia coming up, which is great. So these militia will help us destroy the rest of this army. Perfect. And now we can start on the quest for Afghanistan. Who still has Iran as an ally, so... Pakistan's coming over, so they're not respecting the Iranian alliance? Damn. Damn, and we don't even have to fight that militia there. Damn. We want to save initial recruitment, so we don't want to take Turkmenistan here. Use the Pakistanis as help. Pakistan is coming over a little bit. So we don't get the entire thing, but we do get a slight reduction in GDP per capita, which is great, I guess. Plus we get Iran actually fighting Pakistan, which is also great. Could we peace out? We went and become chill boy with 
All right. You go, you actually attack Turkmenistan, but we're also gonna go, quick go fascist here. Okay, now we're gonna begin our recruitment. So we want to recruit gunners, commandos, a thousand rockets, 1,500 tanks, and then let's go to democracy. Democracy is always a great choice. Just add a little bit of Turkmenistan for just that little bit extra economy here. There we go. It's a 12k economy. This is great. Russia's with us. Pakistan lost some troops there. We can ally with hopefully India here. Soon enough. This is great. Great start. We didn't lose too many troops. We have 25 million in the queue. We have some economy to use. The only issue is China's not that aggressive, but that's fine. We can get the Iranian alliance now, which is great. It's right on our border. If Russia continues being aggressive, we're still gonna have the ability to attack Russia. Hell, even Ukraine's now going after them. That's actually grand for us. India can India can probably eliminate Pakistan for us if they want to. So if we ally with them, that would actually be a good alliance to take too. Looks like South Korea wants to fight North Korea. We've lost the Russian. We can take the Russian back. We're waiting for all our troops here before we decide on our next move. Looks like they're taking out Tajikistan. And at this point, I think like we gotta follow. We can get it for free too, which is great. Yep, we got someone that for free. So we're back to 115, which is fine. Okay. Oop. Well, goodbye, Russia. Let's diplomatically interfere. Goodbye, Russia. Let's diplomatically interfere because I want China instead, right? I'd rather pay for China, right? All right, we have China. And we have Russia attacking Estonia. So we've swapped sides here. Russia, even they're going after South Korea. This alliance may not pay off. China's super aggressive right now. Are we at Pakistan? Oh, China, you are too aggressive right now. Oh, no. You are way too aggressive right now, and I don't want to border. No. Russia's on our turf. Now, what do I do? Like, fortunately, Russia can probably destroy... Fortunately, China can destroy some people, but yeah, we gotta take Russia. We gotta get Russia back then. But yeah, we gotta continue playing this alliance game. But yeah, China has to be our priority. Like, we gotta defend China. Come on, China, build more troops. Good job taking Taiwan, I guess. But this is Womp Womp. Mother Do we risk... Do we take the risk of going for Kazakhstan here?
what risks do we take? God, I mispronounced risks. Like, we don't have coast. We know that this will get Turkey at war with us, and we don't have enough of them line so Kazakhstan's probably the safest option. Even though, like, Kazakhstan's probably the safest option if I did that. Because under Pierce doesn't matter. Do we wait for one of them to overcommit? China's definitely overcommitted at this point, but so is India. They've all overcommitted. Like, holy shit. Questions do I overcommit? We have borders on Russia, so I'd rather diplomatically interfere with Russia here. I'd rather maintain the alliance with China, India. I'd rather see Russia go down because we can rush through Turkmenistan. So that's the play I'm gonna make here. Serious final fallen. <laughs> Excuse me. We're gonna get India here. India has got into Africa, and I think Africa unnecessarily. They went their own. They didn't need to go into Africa. They also went into New Zealand. Yeah, they didn't need, they didn't need to do this. This is more of a USA thing. The USA needs to do this to help their build troops. India does not. It'll be gutsy for me to do it right now. The safe play to get at least open up uh, China for us, Kyrgyzstan. The reason Kyrgyzstan is, is fine? Okay, we dragged him off cap, so now we can fight normally. But Kyrgyzstan is fine because um, we would get borders with China. Then we can play both hand sides. Yeah. So let's play both sides here. Let's go into Kyrgyzstan. Let's play both sides, and we'll be fine. That way, if Russia falls, we can take advantage, but if China falls, we can get, at least get to bat. You know? Play both sides. Our army should hold up. Let's roll. Let's go a week at a time. Russia wants to do something, so I think Russia's gonna be next to fall. Okay, they're fighting Singapore. Okay. And Kazakhstan would be nice to have just because of the GDP. It would blow my economy. So. Okay, Russia's getting aggressive here. Have to be ready for. Have to be ready to attack Russia here. Have to be ready. 36, high defense versus relatively balanced. Have to be ready. They're taking out Ukraine. Even taking out Estonia here. I think Russia wins this one. Barely. But if we betray them, they're not... They're not gonna hold out. I don't think I want to be the first to attack. I think we want our gunners first and then go. Nope, that, that just settles it. Now we gotta go. Okay, combine these armies up. We gotta go now. If 
stupid and you don't fight me. But what I need is borders with Ukraine here. So what I want is Ukrainian borders. I don't care that the US is robbing me of all my possible expansion lanes. I want Ukraine. I want Russia to, all right. So now we need to play it slow. We need to peace out with Poland. Do everything to take that peace treaty. Figure out how to peace out with Spain. Nope, we don't have money. Spain has a bigger... Does Spain have a big enough army? Yeah, Spain has a bigger army than me. You know what? We'll just have to gamble. Nope, we gotta take... We gotta block Turkey. We gotta block Turkey. Now we gotta go back to Ukraine. So that's fine. We'll just take the hit here. We'll take we'll take Spain hitting me. Spain can hit me. All these damn militia you first from Ukraine, right? But if we can get Ukraine down, then we can focus hard on like uh now we can focus hard on Russia itself. So Ukraine is gone. Hopefully Spain won't mind me taking him out. We can take this out. Let those armies work. Let those armies cook. Let them cook. All right, they're not gonna cook. They're not, they're not gonna cook well enough for uh, us to defeat them, so. Yeah, Russia is gonna be eliminated here. We didn't get enough of what we wanted, but it is what it is. We do not have the Chinese alliance anymore. We need to get that back. We do have the Iranian alliance. That's great. Russia forming a lot of troops, but at least we have the 40, the 2%, so we can build troops now. Kazakhstan might be worth going into. Because now we're now we already have some GDP, so it doesn't matter. We can get some land for population to grow. Plus, we can get the rest of this. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. So they're gonna come off to here. There they come, go to cap. Just, just make sure you get the defense bonus. And now I'll just spread out and go. Just take him out, quick. Uh, honestly, Pakistani alliance would be great right now. As soon as we have borders on Russia, we need to take it. Take it. All right, and there we go. Much better borders now. Slow this down a bit. Now, unfortunately, we're still landlocked, but this is very minuscule border blocking us from here. We have, we have coast up here, but it's kind of useless. I 
And unfortunately, it's too rich for my blood, so we're not gonna get the most the cheapest troops overall. And Japan is being piecemealed very strongly, so we need to find. So yeah, that's unfortunate. So good, decent on some respects, but bad on others. Do have all of Estonia. USA, super aggressive. Like, if USA keeps doing this, I may just attack them, right? Yeah, but they're building troops. Or your allies. Japan's being finished off. Like, USA's super aggressive right now. The problem is we're just locked in. Or we, we have to go for like China or someone. China starting to use troops. So here's the problem. If we start going for China, we have to now go through all this shit. Well, we might be able to kill China though. We're big enough that we might be able to get to kill China. We need to ally with Pakistan though. All right, let's do it. In order for our fast time, we're gonna do it. Let's do it. Wait for them. Go slow. All right, we know they're coming. Go back. Can we get the US Alliance? No. Okay, let's see if they go the entire way or if they just try and take this. They're actually trying to just come back. That's fine. Go up here then. Okay, come back. full engagement here. The terrain sucks. Maybe we get the engagement we want. Yep, there we go. Battles. We did not get the defense bonus. That's... But we destroyed a good chunk of their army. Okay, let's do it. Do it again. Despite the defense bonus, we fought them only rockets, so that was fine. Still gotta fight their tanks, though. Where's the good terrain? More flat stuff. Alright, we're gonna fight here. Oh, well, we destroyed that. Alright, that's good. Oof, China destroyed me. Because they got the defense bonus. Aww. What? What, bro? This pays off if we can. If we destroy China, this pays off, but it doesn't pay off otherwise. Like, North Korea should be coming over now. China, USA should be coming over now, right? Like, here comes Indonesia. Good. 
No, keep going east. Keep going east. You need to get the lands uh, in the northern. You need to get, you need to work towards Beijing here. Indonesia declared war. You need to do everything to get economy. So everything's gonna go east towards Beijing. Coastline's ideal. No, east. We did we bite off more than we could chew? I hope not. But no one's helping us, so this is gonna be this is gonna be very detrimental if they if USA can help us, this is huge. But even USA is not if USA can ally with me, that'd be huge. Now nah, we gotta wait. We gotta wait this out. They seem to be helping and then they stopped. Yeah. Now we gotta come all the way into what wrong. Man, the AI kinda sucks sometimes. Man, AI you suck sometimes. hard. I want to take advantage of this while I can. Oh, Qatar, Thailand. Take advantage of the Chinese deficit in troops while I can. By taking up as much as we can. As we can. Obviously, we're only going to be able to take the western half here, which is the useless half, but... Qatar, come on, dude, stop. I'm being a, being a biatch. Indonesia, come on. Now we, now we seriously have to, now we try to just spike our way to the coast. Now we keep our stuff in one stack and we try and hit the coastline. Because if we can hit the coastline, we can go for Japan. We can go for like their overseas territory. Which I feel is more important. Stuff that we can take from up here, which is the higher GDP stuff. Okay, don't fight in Shanghai, fight in Beijing. Alright, go back to Taiwan, that's that's high GDP land. Actually defend this. Go to Taiwan. Yeah, everyone go to Taiwan, take that. 
We need the high GDP land so we can build the, get the low GDP stuff. Bring this down to 24. We had to play aggressive so that we can play slower now. Like, holy shit, if that... Get out. Get out. They build like 15. Shit. Oh well. Well now we gotta defend this. No one's helping. It's like holy shit guys. Like what the fuck? Like, even Indonesia destroyed me. Alright, we need to maintain our outside here, so let's just leave this here. Alright, they won there, so But we have new troops coming, so. They have another six? What the fuck? Let's come back. There's another seven. China's been destroyed again, but here's the problem. This entire time, Absolutely no one has helped me with China. Like, what the fuck? In fact, everyone's helping with everyone else. It's like, holy shit, what are you guys thinking? China would just, like, change the game for a bunch of y'all. And all you guys can think about is me. Like, this is terrible. I'm just gonna be honest, this is terrible. It's wholly unfortunate that we're, we're not getting any help with this. Like, all we need is like one of these nations to decide to come in and they're like they're just saying, no, nope, we're doing our own little thing, screw this, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so at this point we just need to be building every time because we're not gonna get enough. We've taken the overseas stuff. Now we need to go north for the easier to... I think we got to take this Manchurian stuff and Russian Siberia stuff. Because that's quick. That's easy. It allows me to build up. So let's just do it. They have 15 again. Holy shit. Like, where are they getting 15 every time? And no one's fighting them. You know? This is crazy. And, like, India is also pretty much the only reason we're surviving is because we're able to peace out. But even that's becoming, like, a, not a guarantee. Let's finish off Manchuria. Grab it. Get a Thailand, come on. Just attack. Just someone attack China so that they're not on me. And we'll be fine. Like, holy shit, this is getting super annoying. Like, we're at 8% GDP, which is great. We've carved up most of Western... Western, uh... China. That's great. But no... But literally, no one's helping us with China. Like, that's the worst part of this. If we can get USA, that'd be great. But no one wants to get, give us USA either. We're at 10% now. Ch See, here's the problem. USA is at 80% now. Be the only one able to fight them is us. Right, can we get to a point where we can destroy them? Can we get to a point where we're building enough tanks that we can get some defense, you know? Right, we need this outside stuff. Israel, what the fuck? One, China's just allying with everyone and making it torture for me. What? 
the F. They want India, which is fine. Did China expand down here? It would probably be better for me to expand there, but no, we gotta we gotta take the, we gotta take the good stuff now. We need tanks desperately, so we gotta take some of this good stuff. Good shit. Let's go this way though. There we go. Now we're gonna start building some tanks, so that's great. Uh, yeah, we got dragged into a very long war with China, but now we're starting to see some pro- Thailand's at war. Oh my god. We're just starting to see some progress and then it's always getting hit by- Oops, we're knocked by China. Oh, we're knocked by Pakistan. You know? You look- you blink for a moment and suddenly one of them's at war with you. Shanghai, let's get Hong Kong. Hong Kong slash Guangzhou. Let's watch our diplomacy, make sure we're staying good on that front. Right, let's get everyone combined right there. Let's watch our diplomacy again, make sure we're not losing alliances unnecessarily. USA is down bad too. There's still a chance we can win this game pretty quick, like before 2100. It's very risky. We need, like, uh, USA to not build an obscene amount of troops, but the, the opportunity is there. Qatar again. Come on. You have got to realize the situation. The, the situation is not declare war on me. Right? Gotta realize that. Can I even ally with Mexico? Mexico's got a lot of troops. Like, there's a lot of troops in the east that... There's a lot of... There's a significant... Like, the reason they're going after me is defense power. If we can fix that, then maybe, just maybe, we can get get shit going. So let's get the Indonesian alliance. Let's also take out Shanghai slash Hong Kong here. We just lost the RAM. We need a RAM. Africa is decimated. Can we get a cheap one here? No. But at this point, we're starting to see some sort of advantage when it comes to this stuff, so... Thailand, will you ally with me? Yes. We'll pay for that. Yeah. We're now starting to see an advantage. Alright, let's start splitting. Because we need to get this done quick now. And then get competitive with the United States. Well, Pakistan's no longer my ally. We need to bail up. Yeah, let's start carving up the rest of China here. Now that we have the troop advantage, somehow survived that craziness, and now we have significant amounts of coast, high population coast too. Eliminating USA can win us the game too. Three. Like. And we, although we don't have a larger military than the US, we have a large enough military. Where no one's gonna like want to immediately fuck with us. Hungary's declared war. You can have that. Fine. You can have that. I'll take. I'll take this stuff in the east. Yeah. We can start destroying all this stuff here.
Honestly, let's come back for that. Let's try and quickly eliminate Hungary. And send half of y'all to, to finish off China. Yeah, let's send half of y'all to finish off this Hungarian. We're not on them. Not on them. Make them surrender. to come over and they've decided to eliminate the rest of my that stack so that's fine I think China's fully eliminated at this point have to piece out with USA and may have to try and get alliance with them Hungary will not liberate at this point so that's fine Self-sufficient economy going. So, let's start going down this path. All right, so we are number two. After all that nonsense, we are number two. We need to look for alliances now. Azerbaijan, very quick, easy, easy to take here. Qatar, we're going to need to build an alliance with you. United States. United Kingdom. Alright, we're at the point where we had to start transitioning into our other shit. Like, we're not growing fast enough, like... Like, eventually they're gonna start have to betray USA, right? You would think. Gotta get India now. Gotta get India back. Gotta maintain our alliances here. Do everything in our power to do that. Especially since we... I think... We're fine right now. We just gotta stay still. Stay very, very still. Do nothing. 212, 206. India's starting to do shit. We need to find a weakness now. Like, we are the, probably the weakest. Mexico. We get the Mexican alliance. That'd be a, that'd be a huge coup for us. Even if it's that pricey, that's a cute. That's a coup. We have to start playing the alliance game. We have to start out building. We're gonna start building the USA. We're not like at the point where we are able to beat USA straight up. They have too many allies, but we have defense power. USA is starting to get weak. Should still have significant allies though. We could ally with them though. It'd be huge, but we can definitely ally with them. 
and would fix my account would do it. It fixes my economy. Do it, do it, do it. Yeah, it fixes everything for me, so just, just do it. Makes us go down research faster. It just makes us go down everything faster here. We are growing faster in terms of, like, uh, troops, but... Also, we get to see if when USA starts blowing their load on people. They're trying to take out Portugal here. Everyone sees the USA getting big. Even Indonesia is going after it now. USA responded, kind of, but did not. If we can weaken NATO, that would help too. These 3.2.94, 3.46, they are still growing faster. This could still be a decent time. I don't think it's on world record pace, but well, I definitely know it's not on world record pace. But it could still be sub 100,000, which is fine for a Uzbekistan recording. We're just trying to get countries that I haven't done at this point done, so. I haven't reported. Alright, Argentina, we finally have an opportunity to invade someone. Poggers. So let's do it. USA is still very democratic. So is Argentina, but Argentina is so weak that it doesn't matter. Plus, we now have a troop advantage, so this is great. And Brazil's fighting us, too. And that just released USA from their whatever. Oh, it's because Indonesia's wanting to fight. So now USA is going to come in. They're going to want to fight Indonesia. They're going to want to knock them off a bit. And given that comp... My comp beats that comp hard. We're just gonna go for it. Yeah, this comp beats that comp. So, it's time. It's our time. It's our time. All right. So let's start off by Poland, Peru, Brazil. Start piecing out with everyone that would be at war of us. Pakistan, re-up. Canada, Germany. Now, Hungary's gonna hate me. Hungary. And then re up with anyone who didn't wanna be our ally. So, re up. Re up. And this is it. Who declares war? France. Get out. United Kingdom. Big one, get out. And we're good. We should just demolish that army, right? I mean, just because we should demolish it doesn't mean we will. Finish off remittance. All right, USA's army is gone, decimated. Let us let's expand. Let's grab it all. 
grab it all, be greedy. United Kingdom at war, we need to peace out here. Be as greedy as possible. Try and take mainland USA really quick. The reason you do that is so that you can rebuild later. You can always rebuild later. Oh, but man, we're gonna take a hit here from this. As soon as we're done here. All right, everyone, defense mode. We need to be in defense mode on USA. The world has opened up. And because we opened up the world, we now need to worry about, well, defending ourselves. It would be ideal if had we not lost the allies, but it's what it is. We now defend. We now don't do anything. All right, let's get our welfare state going. We're now large, so Indonesia, what the fuck? Yeah, now everything's gonna get ridiculous and ex expensive. Germany's on the way. This does kind of suck. If we can just ally with Mexico here. No, we just get a build. We don't have the largest military. We gotta play it safer. We were able to take out all of the United States at least. And we were able to keep our allies. Okay, we're okay with losing that. That's fine. But at this point, AI data rents is becoming a major problem. Fortunately, our militias are going to be very strong, and fortunately, we're holding some very valuable land in America. But America has too many allies, so we need to focus on building up. We decide to be aggressive because we can be we can be that aggressive. We can afford being that aggressive. Population bonus. Growing at 1.83 now. <sighs> Get the rest of these here and then we're gonna finish off USA, or at least try to. Economic research tree done. Okay, 304. Still have India as an ally. Alright, go. Finish off the United States of America, just add some extra. Add some extra land for us. Don't worry about India at this point. Which everyone's gonna hate us at this point for trying to win the game, but this is what you can do, right? Finish off America. Do what we can so that we don't have to worry about it later. to finish off America so you don't have to do it later, right? Plus India's gonna be like, uh, we want our land back, so that's fine. Philippines be like, nope, you are no longer, you aren't our friend. Alright. We're at 87, we need to invade someone to get the last uh, bit of winning the thing, so. I'll finish off the United States here. 
That's probably the big goal right now, finishing off. off USA probably the most important thing here. You can okay no multiple you just go on defense mode and handle these Russian the militias in Russia. UK hates us for now going for after which means everything's gonna go home now. He's fighting us over there. Shit. I wish we could go back and fight them over there for it. Not shit. And yeah, we don't need anything over here. We just need to maintain this shit. Which means we're gonna have to fuck. We're, just, we're gonna have to get in a dogfight with the rush. The. Dogfight. Right. Just go into the defense mode over here. If we can ally with anyone, that'd be great. Alright, where am I gonna get the last bit? It's clear we're gonna have to fight United Kingdom. It's just when do I make the move? You know? Don't want to do it too early. Don't want to do it too late. And we've been having to fight this long, protracted war for a long time now. We have we have a huge military advantage, but I don't want to fight the entirety of NATO right now. But honestly. We might just have to do it. Let's do it. Time to fight all on NATO here. End this game. Oh no. They got too many allies. Oh, now I'm just gonna have to go take just the United Kingdom and then just go backwards. India's on the way. Just take him out here. Go home, everyone. Everyone goes home here. We're gonna have to finish off United Kingdom here. I wanna make sure all our stacks are equally t tied or whatever. All right, and let's go home. Don't wanna fight India. Fight the remains of pa fight the remains of Pakistan might be worthwhile just because. Go into the United Kingdom hard. Oh, fighting India was a bad move. Now I gotta go back. Send everything back. Alright, everyone back to the United Kingdom. Again, do this right. Getting UK down should win us the game, but you never know. Just because it should doesn't mean it will. 
Like Mexico could attack us at any time. But yeah, we're in a long, protracted war now. And it is a, and we're just gonna be in it for a while. Like it's gonna be a super long, this has been a long end game, mostly because of China, but also because of when USA fell. Like this end game is just ridiculous. For, we're choosing to run democracy, even though it may be better to just go fascist. We are deliberately choosing to run democracy here. Guess what? Here comes Brazil. And eventually Mexico is going to come with it. We're at war with everyone. gone? No, UK's still around. Fortunately, we don't have borders on him anymore. Alright, where do we get the last bits? I think it's gonna end up being uh, uh, India. We're just gonna go for it now. We have an advantage, so let's just go for it. Finish this game, finish it. Finish this long as fuck game. Even Iran's declared war because we're at 99%. Alright, Uzbekistan done in 66,900 something days. Did not improve my PV, my unrecorded PV, but that's fine. We're gonna, this is a good enough video that we're gonna post it. Just gonna find Uzbekistan on the list now. It should be mid it's close to midway. A bit higher because of the higher population. There you go. Yeah, my PV was a lot better than 66,000 days, but I didn't record it. Anyway, like, share, subscribe if you like the content, ring the bell for notifications. Um, become a member to um, uh, see my videos early. Uh, leave any suggestions in the comment section below. I looked at all of them. And I'll decide on which one I'll do. And then I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace out.